all keep quiet for a moment, I'll explain. Well, oh, well up up there. There. silence. The Fiora wants to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a bit of respect, shall we? Well, Hitler won't mind, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Twit. <laughs> the company have decided to remove the basic causes of delays on the buses. Marvellous, we're not going to carry any more passengers. <laughs> No, I'll tell you what, they're going to get rid of him. <laughs> Sweet. The company, in their infinite wisdom, have decided that each bus will have two-way radio installed in its cab. Well, what's that got to do with us conductors, then? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if anything happens to the driver, the conductor will still be there to get through to the base, won't he? Right. And the first bus to have one installed will be your number 11, the bus to the cemetery gates. Well, why pick on us, then? Because a time and motion survey has shown it to be the slowest and most unpunctual in the old town, that's why. <laughs> oh, blimey, mate, you should see the traffic from the high street to the cemetery gates, it's packed, mate. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with it. The survey shows that the hearses are getting there before you. <laughs> oh, blimey, mate, they don't have to stop to pick up passengers. <laughs> well, only one and he couldn't care less where he's going. <laughs> Listen to this, will you? Each bus will be fitted with a two-way radio receiver like this. Thank you, Miss Woodall. <coughs> now then, there will be a central control in my office there, manned by Miss Woodall, who will serve directly under me. Oh! oh, oh no. What? <laughs> now, this is the basic two-way receiver. You have to learn the controls. That is the on position, that is the off. That's known as the on-off button, right? I'm glad you told us that, otherwise we wouldn't have known. <laughs> <laughs> now then, when you hear me call... Oh, I... You will acknowledge by lifting up the microphone here and pressing the button on the left there like that. So, right? Now, before you can use this apparatus, you have to learn a code to identify yourself. Well, what code's that then? Just a moment, Miss Woodall, thank you. Now then, this code here is used to avoid any confusion whatsoever over the air. A for Abel, B for Bertie, C for Charlie. As far as I'm concerned, C only stands for one thing. What's that? Trumpet. <laughs> B for Georgie, H for Hotel, I for Idol, that's you two. Ah, shut your face. J for Juliet, J K for, for Juliet, K for Katie, oh, L for ah. Love. You have to go on repeating those words over and over again. Mind you, I find it a lot more stimulating than his usual conversation. Well, I don't know why he has to learn them all. I've told you before, Mum, we're having radio control in the cabs and I've got to learn this code. Oh, for instance, you don't understand it, do you? No. If I was referring to Olive, I'd call her Oscar. Well, I don't think that's very nice. <laughs> Calling Olive Oscar? I don't know. I think it suits her rather well. <laughs> Look, you haven't got it at all, have you? No. Look, her name's Olive and it's spelled O-L-I-V-E, -O right? Right. So, in the code, I'd say Oscar Love Idol Victor Easy. Eh? Sounds most appropriate. Oh, shut <laughs> Arthur be. Do you really want me to tell you? Stan. Now, let me see then. A-R-T-H. Now, he would be, uh, Abel Romeo. Him? Abel Romeo? <laughs> That's a laugh for a start. Yeah, well, it's rather difficult being a Romeo when you happen to be married to a woman who happens to be an Oscar. Come <laughs> ah, Mom, Stan, love, eat up your stew. It's getting all cold. Anyway, I think the old thing is rather childish. Busman's code? I mean, why don't you just learn to speak the message properly? Because <laughs> it could easily be misunderstood. I mean, if I write a report, a bad fog, I would say, here we are, don't know, but he ain't a bell, oh, pretty off the donkey donkey yo yo, and that makes it clear. What a lot of rot you do talk, I didn't catch a single word of that. No, well, shut up. <laughs> Let me get on with it. Here we are. Now then. R for Romeo, F for sugar, T for... Uh, I can't see that here. What's T that? for tomato. Uh, tomato. Can't remember tomato, innit? Tomato ketchup, mate. You also got a bit of G for gravy and S for stew. <laughs> yeah, well, what does all that mean, then? He's a messy eater. Oh, shut <laughs> your face. Oh, it. Drown me. It's T for Tango, that's okay. it. I know it wasn't tomato. T for Tango. No, I'm going to practice on you now, Mum. I don't love now, I'm going to ask what, yeah. Mum, yeah. would you mind passing me the Romeo Oscar Love Loves? Hey? Yeah, you ain't got it, see? No. Have you? No. Romeo Oscar Love Loves. That's the rolls. 
Oh, well, I don't think that's decent. <laughs> I'm not going into Baker's asking for that. Anyway, I don't see what difference this is going to make to the bus service. Well, they couldn't be much worse than they are now. I mean, you stand there for an hour in a queue, then you get a dozen buses all following one behind the other. Yeah, well, there's a reason for that, mate, and it's very technical. Oh, hey, what's that? Well, the bloke in front's the only one who knows the way. <laughs> You may laugh. I mean, you're the driver. You always get a seat, don't you? Yeah. I mean, you're crammed in there in the rush, eh? You're stacked together like cattle. Oh, yes, he's right, love. Pep like sardines. It's not decent. Well, only the other day a man tried to pinch me. <laughs> hey? You should have gone for him, Mark. Oh, I did. He said he was fumbling for his change. <laughs> Wasn't his change he was fumbling for? <laughs> That's quite right. There was a man on the number nine bus. He kept touching me. He was after me, all right. I had witnesses. You should have reported him. He could have got three months. Well, for being after her, he'd have been found guilty but insane. <laughs> you should have complained to the conductor. But he was a real nasty type. He put his hand down on the seat just as I was about to sit down, and I sat down on it. It was a terrible shock. I bet it was. <laughs> Must have broken his wrist. <laughs> 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 Leave your brother alone. Yeah, pick on someone your own size. <laughs> oh, shout a lot of you. Let me learn this, will you? Right. F for Freddy, G for Georgie, H, H for Hospital. Fly me, fly me, mate. Look, I don't know why you bother. I mean, why don't you learn yourself to speak properly? My stand speaks lovely. Oh, don't talk wet. Your voice types you, mate. In this country, you can tell what a man is immediately he opens his mouth. Oh, can you, can you? Here, well, just a minute now. Here, what about that lovely poem you recited at school? Yeah. Yeah. The Wreck of the Hesperus. Yes. <laughs> My dear man, that word is Hesperus. I mean, how are you going to be understood over the radio if you continue to drop your H's? You're a snob. That's what you are. I can speak proper if I want to. All right, all right. Repeat after me. Hunting hounds have hardly ever hearkened to handsome Harold's hunting horn. <laughs> oh, it's a piece of cake, mate! Go on, then. go on. Hunting hounds have hardly ever hearkened to handsome Harold's hunting horn. How about that, then? There you are, there you are. Look, you dropped an H on hardly. But he picked it up on Heather. <laughs> Hunting hounds have hardly ever hearkened to handsome Harold's hunting horn. Hunting hounds have hardly ever hearkened to handsome Harold's hunting horn. Handsome Harold's hunting horn. Who the hell's handsome Harold? Uh, no, I'm just brushing up on the code, mate. You know, we've got to get it right for our first radio trip, haven't we? Ah, it's a blooming new set, sir. Ah, it's not, you know. We got company. <laughs> Have we? Who? Yeah, Joyce and Edna, they're coming with us. Sort of training. They're thinking of issuing them with new equipment. <laughs> well, I don't see why. Their old equipment looks good enough to me. <laughs> Here's ten. <clears throat> when we turn around at the cemetery gates, we'll have them to ourselves for 20 minutes. <laughs> Hello, darling. Welcome aboard another never mind a set there. Jack, 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 get, get aboard. I'll tell them we're leaving. Hurry up. Here, mate, what? get your hand off that radio. The way you're acting, you'll probably blow a fuse. <laughs> Hello? Hello, control here. Calling Sugar Bertie 11. Are you receiving me? This is the final check before leaving. Over. Hey, who's Sugar Bertie? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm Sugar Bertie. Sugar Bertie! SB stands for Stan Butler. Sugar Bertie, that's me. Sugar Bertie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does suit you, dear. Goes with the dimples. Sugar Bertie, Sugar Bertie, are you receiving me? Over. Sugar Bertie to control. I'm ready to leave the depot. Over. Sugar Bertie 11, why aren't you acknowledging me? Over. I am acknowledging you. Over. Sugar Bertie 11, why aren't you answering me? Sugar Bertie 11, here I am answering you, over! Well, why aren't I receiving you then, over? Because you had the door shut, over! <laughs> Look, go back inside and I'll start again. No, there's no 
time now. Sugar about 11, you're clear. Over. OK, Control. I, here, just a minute. Don't go yet. I just found out why it wasn't working. What's that then? I didn't have the switch pressed down. <laughs> Look, I'll show you. Oi! Oi! Oh, that's it. Nice. Hey, old darling. Oh, thank Cut you. Tea. Do you want one of my maroons? No, thanks, love. Not just now. All right. Right, I'll just get back to control and tell Blake we've arrived at the cemetery gates. Right. Here, Stan. Here. What? Tell him we won't be here for another ten minutes. What are you talking about? We're here. Yeah, give us more time to chat up the birds, eh? Sugar Bert D11. Sugar Bert D11 to control, over. Just put on. Oh. Hello? Control here. Come in, Sugar Bertie. Where are you? What is your position? Uh, uh, we're stuck in the traffic jam at Acker Street, and we won't be at the cemetery gates for another 20 minutes. <laughs> Over. Message received, Sugar Bertie. Over. <coughs> See? The system works. I know exactly where they are. <laughs> <laughs> These will keep me in order. <laughs> uh, and, uh, message received, 11.42, Miss Woodall. Right. Hello, Sugar Bertie. Proceed to the cemetery gates. Wait there for seven minutes. When you are uh, ready to leave, call me back. Over. <laughs> oh, God, it made I tell you. <laughs> it, it worked a treat. Yeah, look, I've been chatting up, Joyce, so yeah. it is all yours. You lucky beast, she fancies you. Yeah, yeah, you sure, though. Yeah, sure? yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Look, you, you, you take her off somewhere and I'll get in a bus with my bit. <laughs> Ron! Blimey, you've got all the bus. This is a cemetery, you know. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Snog her up against one of the tombstones? <laughs> Listen, mate, inside of the bus is my pitch. You've got a cab. What could I do inside a cab? Well, use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah, well, we've just been out to Blakey. There's no hurry. Uh, Edna, love. Yeah. We've got another ten minutes and that. I thought, like, you'd uh, come in the... I'll show you how to work the radio in the cab, like, if you like. Yeah, all right, then. Come in, Joyce. You're joking. I think I'll stay here. I'll go inside with Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'll take off my ticket machine, oh. then. <laughs> you, uh, you'll have to get inside, love, you see, because I can't show you outside. Oh, it's all right, there. then. Give us a hand up. Right, I love. <laughs> yeah. oh, excuse fingers. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have to get inside, darling, because uh, it's a bit... Uh, You're a squeeze, isn't it? Oh, look at that. The door's shut behind me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, I haven't been in a driving seat before. No, I've never had a passenger before, I tell you the truth. Here, yeah, hold on, Stan. You're squashing me. Yeah, well, I can't help it, darling, because it's only... Oh, look, I tell you what. I'm so... Look, put your arm round there. Uh, see what I mean? More room for us then, you see. What's that hissing noise? Uh, well, that's the uh, radio. It's got to be kept on all the time, you see. Do you mean he can hear everything we're saying? No, no, no. No, he can get through to us any time he likes, but, you see, he can't hear me until I've pressed the switch on the microphone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I think it's about time I check to see whether that number 11 got the cemetery gate yet. Thank you. <laughs> oh, marvellous, this system, you know, Miss Woodall. I can check on them any time I like. <laughs> I thought of this, you know. <laughs> Hello? Control here, calling Sugar Bertie 11. Are you receiving me? Where are you? What is your position? Are you receiving me? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar Bertie 11. <laughs> are you there yet? Over. Not yet. I don't work that fast. Oh, Stan. Sugar Bertie, Sugar Bertie. Are you sure he can't hear us? I can. Of course he can't, darling. Not until I put the switch down on the microphone. I've got to show you how it works anyway. Look, here we go, look. Now, I've got it like this, you see. Right, that's it. Press the button down like this. Watch now, then. Sugar Bertie 11 to control. Over. Sugar Bertie 11, control here. Listen, Bertie, you keep in closer contact, you understand? Over. Yeah, the closer the better. <laughs> we've, uh, we've arrived at the cemetery gates. <laughs> oh, don't, no, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, just a bit of local interference.
interference. That's very funny. None of the other busmen have had any of that. You're not having my luck. <laughs> Over and out. Oh, oh, dear, are you positive he can't hear? Oh, how many more times I've got to tell you, darling? And of course you can't, not until you put the switch down. Now, look, sweetheart, we've only got another seven minutes. Hey, oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm all for this radio control, you know. Now, this is what I call radio. Hello? Hello? That was Butler's voice. Hello? Are you receiving me? Are you receiving me? Over. You know, you see, you get lonely in a cab, you know. And you know she's licking. <laughs> I saw you in the depot, I fancied you, and you were You have really, and uh, because you're different, you see. Yeah. I bet you've got a lot of boyfriends, ain't you? <laughs> so me. Oh, Stan, give over talking. Give us another kiss. Is it a woman, will you? You take over talking. I'll take that on the road. I'll pick up that bus on the way back. Come on, Ed, break it up. Ah, oh, blimey, what's the matter now? Ah, oh, there's some passengers want to get on. Oh, isn't it marvellous, eh? If it wasn't for the passengers, this would be a decent sort of a job. Come on, love. Here, Stan, can you get any music on that radio of yours? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, yes, you can. A bloke at the depot showed me how to do it. you got a nail fold, dog. Oh, you yes, can do it. That's quite easy. All you do is shove it in the back there. Take hey, it out of it. listen, Come mate, on. I'm responsible for that, That's you know. That's all right. Well, don't mention me. Delta Tango 14, are you receiving me? Delta Tango 14, are you receiving me ever? Hey, that must be one of our blokes on the 14 route. Tango 14, are you receiving me ever? <laughs> 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 he's got his lardy dog voice, hasn't he? Let's see if we can chat with him. Yeah. Uh, Sugar Birdie 11 here, are you receiving me number 14? Over. Delta Tango 14, uh, we are going to Chicago via London, New York, and Boston. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar Bertie to Tango. You, you take my advice, mate, you go to the gas works by the ice cream. Otherwise, thank you for your Tango 14, will you get off my wavelength, please? Otherwise, I'll report you to Central Control. Ever? Cheeky devil. Go on, give him a mouthful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sugar Tango here. You can go and get Sugar Tango, Uncle Freddy, Freddy, Easy Delta. <laughs> Delta Tango 14, what code are you using, Irma? The busman's code, of course, Irma. Delta Tango 14, the Delta Tango 14. Um, where are you? What is your height? What is your height? You better keep clear. What is your height, Irma? Five foot two in me socks. What's yours? <laughs> Delta Tango 14, will you get off my wavelength? I'm coming in for my final approach. Irma? I look, but it's blimey, that's not a bus, that's a plane. Yeah, I'll be dark, can't get aeroplanes on here. Look, he's up here, look, mate. Look, see? Oh, blimey, he is too. Oh, oh, God, oh, look at him. <laughs> hey, look, that's what the Delta Tango is, you see? DT yeah. e on his wings, that's see? Right. E e quick, quick, get this back to normal, uh, while right. I get yeah. shot. Yeah, okay. Sugar Bertie 11, are you receiving me? Please acknowledge. Over. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's yeah, it. I'll twiddle it and get a better than that. Oh, no, you won't, mate. Blimey, well, first you get aeroplanes, and next you'll have the police, the ambulance, and the lifeboat from Beachy Head. Get going. Come on, then. About. Hang about, I'm going to have a word with your driver. Butler, what? What do you mean by sending out them filthy messages over the radio? It's not a tie, you know. What are you talking about? I... Oh, oh, there oh, are yeah. ah, you. Blimey, I was only joking. Joking? You said I had nice eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I said that, mate, I must have been joking. You also said you fancied me. <laughs> I'm reporting you for that, Butler. No busman's ever said anything like that to me before. You must be using the wrong sort of soap. <laughs> Sugar Bertie 11, Sugar Bertie 11, over. There's a burst water main in Market Street. Please divert to avoid hold-up. Oh. Well, did you hear that, Blakey? You got any passions on board? Nah, slang them off at last stop. Right, turn left into Agley Street and get a move on. A hang on, hang on, I don't know that district very well. I'm not getting a move on, I'm taking it easy. Never mind about taking it easy, you're running late as it is. You get a move on, I'm getting all the back to see you do. All right, then, that's the way you want it, mate. All right, then, that's it, then.
want to go and do that for? Oh, yeah, God, yeah, you yeah, nearly yeah. killed us. Not me in the top, mate. I nearly went through the windscreen. Oh, yeah, well, what about me? I was thrown to the ground. Oh, but I mean, at least you fell on something soft. Thank you. Yeah. Well, anyway, to argue in a toss like this. Where's Blakey? Oh, he's all right. He's upstairs. Oh. Upstairs? <laughs> Have you seen the... Blakey, Blakey, you all right? <laughs> I've got to be honest, that's the first time I've been glad to see you. You did it on purpose, didn't you? You tried to kill me. Don't blame me, mate. It was your idea to go around that way. I mean, this ain't a single deck of bus, you know. Uh, it is now. <laughs> I'll get you for this, butler. I'll never forget that as long as I live. I saw that arch coming at me. I just tucked down in the nick of time. Oh, well, thank God we got a radio on board anyway. Get in that cab. Get back to base, tell them we're marooned out here, stuck under a bridge. It's a good idea, but there's only one thing wrong with that. What? Radios don't work under a bridge. <laughs> oh, how did he get on, Sam? What did the manager say? Well, what could he say? I mean, it was Blakey's idea I went round that way, so I told him it was an act of God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see. I see they've taken the radios out of the buses, then. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, the damage. God, blimey, it'll cost a bit. Cost about 10,000 quid. Church, uh, don't be daft, mate. I mean, a whole new bus only costs 3,000. Oh, I see you haven't got the message, have you? Well, you see, our bus was stuck under that bridge harder than I thought. Oh, yeah? What do you mean? Well, when they took the bus away, the bridge fell down. <laughs> <laughs>